Hi everybody, Don Giannetti from Lighting-Essentials.com and Project52ProSystem.com. This is part of the series I call What Makes That Photo Great or What Makes This Photo Great. And today we're looking at a photographer named David Eustace. Um, these little vignettes that I'm doing here uh, are really personal to me. Uh, I'm not picking uh, really maybe famous photographers or folks like that to look at that everybody else looks at. David Eustace is a famous photographer, uh, quite well, uh, well known. Uh, but to me, he was so important. He did a piece called In Search of Eustace with his daughter when she turned 16. And they piled in a car in New York and drove across the country on a two or three week road trip. And he took photographs of her and the trips, the, the side roads they took and the travel that they did. It inspired me to do road trips once again. Um, I had early seen, earlier seen his uh, character project pictures and that had given me the bug. But when I saw the pictures that he did of his daughter and that trip, I got to tell you, I was uh, ready to go. I didn't have a motorcycle at that time. Um, and it was one of the things that led me to getting my motorcycle. So this is one of the portraits that he did of his daughter on the trip. And uh, I just think this is a just an incredibly beautiful, simple, lovely photograph of a young lady. There's everything to like in this photograph. There's so much going on here. Um, I couldn't stop looking at it and other pictures from this series when I first saw it because it's just incredible. First of all, lovely young lady, 16 years old. Look where he places the horizon. Right there. There's something about that horizon placement that knocks me out. It just seems like it's the right place. It goes right through her lips, the color of her lips, the horizon, kind of the same thing. But it also says a young woman growing into her own, becoming a part of the world. The landscape behind her is bleak, but she's looking forward and straight ahead. I gotta tell you, if I could get that kind of emotional response out of my portraits, man, oh man, uh, I just absolutely just love this shot. I think it's a great photograph. I think it's a timeless photograph. I think this photograph will live as a wonderful photograph, an example of excellent portraiture far beyond uh, all of us. It'll be a classic. Now, when I mentioned road trips, uh, David also uh, got me going there, this picture of the Scottish Highlands. Uh, I got a bucket list, you know, it's not a big bucket list and it changes daily. <laughs> it's one of those. Uh, but one of my bucket lists is to ride this road in the Scottish Highlands on my motorcycle. Will I be able to do it? I don't know. Maybe, stay tuned, huh? But when I saw this road in the, the, the incredible way he caught that silver strip coming through here, uh, it just blew me away. It just blew me away. It's a simple shot, but it has everything that a good photograph should have in it. It's got mystery. It's got contrast. It's got texture. It's, it's just a stunning photograph. Uh, David Eustace is a... I guess kind of a, a role model for me in that he he show, he shoots whatever he thinks he likes to make photographs of, uh, whether it's an old building, a road shining in the in this in the little bit of light from a during a storm, ballet, portraits, food, whatever it is, he shoots it and he shoots it in his own distinct way. He uh, photographed the f the famous photographer Albert Watson. Um, and, uh, again, it's a, uh, it's just a study in portraiture to let the collar come up and put the shadow across Albert's chin. Look at how it shapes the face here. So you see that? It's, it's, it's beyond interesting. It's just incredible. The coat comes up, throws the shadow on the face, cuts him off a little bit. Albert Watson's wearing black and black, and then the coat comes out with this same shape. Do you see that? The repeating shape? It's just a, a, a marvelous 
uh, portrait. Um, the the ability to do portraits like this are uh, are something that uh, I've always aspired to to make a portrait that is not just a picture of somebody but a, a work of art, uh, something that transcends just a picture of a person. Uh, and talking about a pictures of a person, this is a photograph he did of James Earl Jones. James Earl Jones, uh, in a, it looks like a coffee shop. I don't know if it's New York or London, but uh, looking like an everyman. And that's the kind of the part James Earl Jones plays when, he, when he's doing his acting. Kind of an everyman, kind of a simple man, uh, a man of uh, ethics and morality. And there he is sitting with his newspaper and his cup of coffee in a very non-Hollywood um, type uh, setting and uh, hands up in front of the face a little bit hidden from hiding the face a little bit from the viewer with the hands uh, shirt sleeve rolled up and that that reflected light in the mirror we can see the the counter behind him we can see some of the stuff in the diner but we're also seeing what's being reflected from the window uh, up above, you can see the the uh, brownstones or the, the brick buildings that are across. Uh, it's a stunning photograph, and there's so many depths here. There's so many lines of of uh, subject here. We've got the, the counter running, that angle, James Earl Jones, Jones jutting straight out with a little bit contrary angle to the two counters. Uh, it's really cool. Uh, that's what makes, I think, photographs great, is this ability to to combine the, the, the situation, the subject, the light, the color, everything works so well in this picture. Um, our final shot we're going to look at here is this dance photograph. And uh, I've photographed dancers, well, since basically since almost the time I, I started shooting, my wife is a dancer and a choreographer, and I've shot ballet and modern dance, tap, pretty much everything uh, for so many years. When I saw this, it sort of culminated for me in that this is almost the perfect dance photo. The toe shoe, as you can see in the in the where it's planted there, is absolutely rock steady, while the dancer becomes more and more out of focus more and more ethereal as you go up, which is what dancers do. You know, their feet touch the floor. They're rooted there. And then everything else about them moves. I love the old textured uh, curtain there, uh, the, the flipping and flying of, the, of the, uh, the dress that she's wearing and that perfectly set toe shoe right there that just anchors the whole thing. It's a classic photograph. It's one that will live for so long. Um, the first time I saw Albert, uh, uh, I'm sorry, not Albert Watson, no. the first time I saw David Eustace's work, I was knocked out by the, I guess, the accessibility of his subjects and the authenticness of his of his photography. Um, the character project, um, there's links down below. And if you uh, click on the links, you'll go to his website. When you go to the website, hit um, the character project. Uh, under projects, it's the, all, it's the one all the way at the bottom. Start there, work up. And uh, be amazed by this absolutely incredibly talented uh, photographer from Scotland. He's a uh, He's a contemporary photographer, so unlike the last three, David is still working in the business and shooting. His book, which is titled, I Write to Tell You of a Baby Boy Born Only Yesterday, somewhat autobiography, uh, so many photographs in it uh, that are breathtaking. It's a book that I cherish. When I saw it was coming out, I ordered it. I pre-ordered it, uh, actually, and waited two months before it got here. Hardcover. Uh, they're no longer in print, the hardcover, but there is a link down below where you can buy the book in softcover right directly from David. 
I recommend you do that. Um, it's affordable. You will thank me for doing it. His work will inspire you like it's inspired so many other people. Uh, and I hope you take away from this the authenticity of the photograph, the whimsical and yet piercing stare of a young lady, a road that goes somewhere magical, a portrait that steps beyond mere portraiture, a portrait that lets us inside a magical world and dance, shown as a dancer would like to see themselves. So David Eustace is our What Makes This Photograph Great um, Guy of the, Week, of the Week. I'm glad you came along. If you like what we're doing here, hit the subscribe button. More photographers coming every Monday as we get through the year 2021. Have a great one. See you next time. Take care.